this video, you will be learning how to improve your inventory management with sample tracking features. To show a list of your samples, click Sample List in the Inventory tab. This list shows stored samples in your lab in order of recency. You may add a new sample or specimen by clicking Add New Sample. Next, select a sample type which have been pre-configured specifically for your lab and proceed. Enter the sample name and other relevant details such as location and quantity. In the case of plasmids, sample specifications such as restriction sites and the number of base pairs have been configured. Select the newly added sample to view the sample information and perform a range of tasks. You may easily print labels with barcodes depending on the printer you have connected, such as Dymo or ZPL printer. Or convert the sample page into a PDF for printing. With the clone function, you can easily duplicate samples just enter the quantity, storage location, positioning and other relevant details. Once saved, the clones can be found as part of the series under the series list. Additionally, they will be listed as children samples of that cloned sample. Move a sample to a new location by selecting Move and clicking a free location. Adjust the sample quantity by selecting Quantity and updating the amount. In accordance with GLP guidelines, all changes to samples are logged chronologically in the sample log. Click the button again to return to the sample form format. If you would like to alter sample details, click Edit. Click Delete to remove the sample entirely. All deleted samples are automatically stored in the sample archive for later access or restoring. Nothing is removed permanently. To restore the sample, find it in the archive Click Edit and select a location. Locating samples in your sample list for viewing or alteration can be easily done with the filter function. Filter by owner, type or location. Viewing format allows you to easily add or remove columns to your preferences for a better customised view. Once ready, click Apply and Save so that your preferences are saved for future use. Once filtered, you can perform sample actions for multiple samples at a time. This includes moving the samples, printing labels, deleting, changing owner, setting a parent or creating a series. You may also locate samples with advanced search which provides more detailed filtering options. Use advanced group search to search for samples within the group. Search by user, storage date, expiration date, location, parent sample, journal entries, sample types or sample fields within sample types. or add a new condition to filter by. Click search when ready. 
By clicking one of the samples, you can view the added condition. Next, you may export the results or save the search. If you would like to save the search, choose a name to save as. Now the samples list is saved under your search lists for quick access. For more information about our products, visit elabnext.com.